Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be reviewing Pixel Cross Story of Seasons. Now, if you've been a longtime fan of the channel, you're probably more of a Story of Seasons fan as opposed to a Pixel Cross fan. So I think I should start today's video by talking about what is a Pixel Cross. How do we play this game? Well, we can look at this really easy example right here. There's going to be numbers at the left and at the top. And basically that's going to just tell you how many squares are filled in in that row. So if you see here, you have twos and fours. That means that in each of these rows, that's how many of the squares are going to be filled in. And if it's just one number, that means that all of the squares, they're together. However, if we look to the left, we have one that's one and then a space and then another one. That means that two of these blocks are filled in, but the two blocks are not consecutive. So they're going to be in two different places. This one here, it's a very simple puzzle. It's only a five by five. And on the left side, you can see that we have two fives. So we know that both of these rows are going to be fully filled in. Once we fill in these two rows, then we can see two of the columns are two, and we've already filled in two of them. So yeah, we can just put X's in the other boxes because we know it's not possible for them to be filled in. Then we can slowly devise, okay, which of these other squares should be filled in and which shouldn't. It's kind of a little bit complicated to explain this to other people, but once you've played a few of these puzzles, you should really catch on very quickly because yeah, it's really simple. This game also has a tutorial and it's very user friendly. So if you're new to Pixel Cross, this is actually a pretty good game to jump right in and learn the ropes. So if you see this one here, it's the very first puzzle and yeah, it's very, very simple. You can see a lot of fives here and then there's none that are two different numbers. So this one, it's very easy. You just fill in all five of them very, very quickly. All of it comes together. And then because it's story of seasons pixel cross every time you complete a puzzle you're going to get a picture of something from the story of seasons games the first one is going to be a hammer now whenever you complete something it's also going to unlock something else in the game so some of them they're going to be different characters from the game and then once you unlock that character then they're going to come up in the almanac when this game was announced, I know we were wondering how much of it is going to be Pixel Cross and how much of it is going to be Story of Seasons. And I do have to say that this game is Pixel Cross Story of Seasons, not Story of Seasons Pixel Cross. <laughs> And what do I mean by that? I mean, this 100% is a puzzle game. There's actually no farming or anything like that. I know from the early clips, we kind of wondered like, oh, are we gonna get to tend to our farm? Are we gonna get to use those characters in the background? But no, actually how it works is as you're going through the game and you're completing the different puzzles, what's gonna happen is the characters in the background, they're slowly going to start working on the farm. So if you look at the characters in the back when you start out, they're just going to be standing around doing nothing. Then you complete a puzzle and they're going to start clearing the land. Then you complete some more puzzles and they're going to start tilling the soil. And then, yeah, it just slowly builds up from there. There's also going to be days and seasons and every puzzle that you complete, it's going to move time along. And yeah, so you're slowly going to get to see the game progress through spring, summer, fall and winter. This feature, I kind of wish it was a little bit more hands-on. Um, it's even more hands-off than I was expecting. <laughs> I kind of thought that the game would be, you do puzzles and then there'd be kind of cutscenes in between them and things like that. But yeah, you don't even really see um, cutscenes like that. You just can choose to look at your farm and they just start doing things automatically. And yeah, I guess I was just expecting a little bit more in that aspect. So what are the Story of Seasons elements that you're gonna find in this game? Well, there's an almanac, and I do have to say that when I first started playing, I was really impressed because yeah, everything looks really beautiful in terms of the almanac, and also the background graphics, they look really good. So when you start the game out, you're gonna have most of the original Story of Seasons games characters in this almanac, and you can see a picture of them, you can see their likes and dislikes, and a short description of them. Then as you go further and further in the almanac, you'll notice that more and more of the titles are missing. Um, the later games, you're not gonna have any of the characters unlocked. You're all gonna have to do that yourself. And then as you are playing the game and you slowly unlock more and more characters, you're gonna get to see their pictures in this almanac. Another Story of Seasons feature in this game is as you're completing the puzzles, the characters in the background, they're going to build your farm up more and more. 
Also, time is going to pass, so you're also going to get to see the passage of seasons in the background. You're also going to get to hear a lot of the Story of Seasons songs from all the different games. And then in terms of Story of Seasons content, that's pretty much where it ends. So there's going to be those graphics in the background, and there's going to be that almanac, but yeah, there's no Story of Seasons gameplay, and you don't interact with any of the characters or things like that. I want to talk a little bit about the things I really liked about this game, and then some of the things I didn't really like about it. Number one, I think that this game is very accessible to new players. There's a lot of different features that you can set up in the settings. If you're a newer player and you're just playing this game because you like Story of Seasons and you want to see the Story of Seasons content, then you can make this game really super easy. Every time you open up a new puzzle, it'll ask you, do you want to do this roulette thing? And then when you pick that, it's going to already do one row and one column for you. So that's gonna help speed you up. At any time, you can also go into the settings and have the game find mistakes. So if you've been trying to do the puzzle and you can't figure out where you made a mistake, open up the menu and then just pick check for mistakes and it's gonna help you out. So yeah, you don't really have to worry about hitting a wall and then getting frustrated because you can't complete a puzzle. There's always gonna be different things you can do that are gonna help you out. And then in the settings, there's also other ways to make it even easier. If you don't really like to see the time ticking down, you can also turn that off. There's a lot of cool things that you can do in the settings if you think the base game is a little bit too intense. So if you really wanted to, you could just put everything on the easiest setting, quickly unlock all the Story of Seasons content, and enjoy the game that way. Then maybe once you're more comfortable with it, you could then go back and redo the puzzles without so many clues and hints. Another thing I like about the game is that the background graphics, they're really cool, they're really great. It does everything presentation-wise really, really well. I know when I started the game up, I was really impressed with the 3D graphics and the portraits. Everything looks really, really beautiful. Now, moving on to the things that I'm not the biggest fan of. Number one, I wish they had done a little bit more with the Story of Seasons aspects of the game. Me personally, I think there should have been scenes in between the puzzles, like you complete a puzzle and then at least you can see a scene of two classic characters talking, or just, you know, something like that. Like maybe certain scenes from the different games as you complete it, then you get to see certain scenes enacted from a previous game. Even if it wasn't voice acted and you just, you know, saw a little flashback of a previous game, I think that would have been a cool feature to add. But yeah, as it is, you just complete a puzzle and then you look at the farm and you just see them <laughs> slowly doing things on the farm. I just think that aspect could have been a little bit better. Another slight issue I have is that all the puzzles, they're all kind of the same. A lot of them are 5x5, five five, and then they become 5x10, and then 10x10, 10 10 and things like that. You can see a lot of them, they're the same size, just repeated over and over again. Now, there is also a collage puzzle where they get a little bit bigger and a little bit different, and you can also complete a full bigger picture. But yeah, I've seen other Picross games where they will kind of mix it up and have different types of puzzles. They might have different sizes. But yeah, with this game, it really just sticks to the original formula, 5x5 five five and then 10x10 10 10 and things like that. I kind of wish they'd mix it up a little bit so that way it's a little bit more fresh as you're playing the game. I just wish there was a little bit more variety in the puzzles. So who would I recommend this game for and who would I not recommend this game for? If you've been following my channel, you're probably a big Story of Seasons fan and maybe not so much a puzzle fan. If you're a big fan of Story of Seasons games and you've wanted to try out a puzzle game like this, then I think this could be a great game for you to jump into the genre and try it out. And plus, the asking price is only $10 and it's on Steam and Switch, which you probably already have. So yeah, for just $10, it's really not that bad of a deal. If you are a fan of puzzle games, I definitely would recommend this title to you because yeah, the graphics are really good, it's a really nice presentation, and there are lots of puzzles. I will say that I think the game might be a little bit on the easier side of things, so if you really love super complex puzzles and stuff like that, I would not say that this game is a huge challenge. This game doesn't really do anything to mix up the typical Pacross gameplay, so I kind of feel like this game is more for fans of the Story of Seasons games who want to try out a Pacross game. It's very accessible, you can make a lot of the settings to make it easier, but in terms of the challenge side, now you can try to do the puzzles faster and faster, and there are a bunch of different achievements that you can lock throughout the game, but yeah, I definitely would not say that this is a difficult Pacross game, and I wouldn't say that it's a huge, huge challenge. So yeah, if you are a huge puzzle fan and you're looking for something that's really super challenging, then maybe this game is not for you. 
Pixel Cross Story of Seasons. It comes out February 27th and it's $10 on both the Nintendo eShop and on Steam. If I had to give this game a score out of 10, I probably would give it a 7.5. There's definitely nothing wrong with the game. I think it's kind of fun. But yeah, this is not a game that you want to just sit there and play the whole day. I think this is kind of more of a game that maybe after work you can play five or so puzzles and get to see a little bit of Story of Seasons content, and it's a great way to play it that way. But if you sit down and try to do all the puzzles in one sitting, then yeah, you're probably going to start getting annoyed with this game. <laughs> If you're playing a main Story of Seasons game, you could play a few days in the game. Then if you want to take a little break, you could do a few puzzles in this game. And then, yeah, go back into the action in the main Story of Seasons game. I think Pixel Cross is a game that you could do a few puzzles a day, and it's quite a lot of fun. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.